Since the British driver joined Mercedes from Williams at the start of the season, he has been hoping the team has produced a car that can challenge the title once again. In qualifying and the race, they have struggled a bit early in the stages of the season, with Red Bull and Ferrari showing a clear pace advantage. Getting to grips with a new team is an extra challenge for George, but former McLaren driver David Coulthard told the Sunday Mirror he's extremely impressed so far. With Williams, Russell was brilliant and was wooed by Mercedes as everyone knows. In contrast, the honeymoon period where you cannot do any wrong changes quickly, especially if you're expecting to be in the top three with the car you are driving. Several Ferrari and Red Bull drivers have taken off and some may think that George's first few races were not up to standard. However, I wouldn't agree. His handling of the car and the situation is commendable. You can only drive what you have. Next, he will work with Lewis Hamilton to help Mercedes design a winning car. George is very impressive. I find him to be an outstanding all-round package. He reminds me of a modern day top professional racing drivers. His communication skills are excellent. I had the same opinion before the season started and I haven't changed my mind since. His motto is, if in doubt, go flat out. Bringing Williams back to the podium in 2021 and winning the Mercedes race in 2022 with Lewis Hamilton. On his way to Formula One, Russell accumulated titles with a brilliant baseline speed. He won the GP3 Championship in 2017 and the Formula 2 title in 2018 under tremendous pressure. Mercedes spotted his potential and signed him for their junior program in 2017 when Russell had already agreed to a DTM deal. As a result, he gained more experience while practicing with Force India and testing for the Silver Arrows before being hired to race for Williams powered by Mercedes. Russell's winning mentality stems from his refusal to give ground to his rivals and commitment to making a tricky pass. It's what earned him the call-up to replace Lewis Hamilton for a one-off Mercedes appearance for Sakaar in 2020 when the reigning champ was struck down by COVID-19. In that star turn, Russell missed out on pole by just 0.026 seconds, then beat Mercedes driver Valtteri Bottas. In the closing stages of the race, the young super sub was only prevented from winning when a pit stop went away from a late puncture occurred. While he was focused on the bigger prize at Williams in 2021, he scored his first points in podium. He earned the opportunity to compete in identical machinery against the seven-time champion Hamilton after proving himself a hard worker and talent. Russell the Rocket, as always, will go all out to take on this challenge. Top five finishes in all races this year. In the Miami Grand Prix, George Russell says he got lucky after a convenient safety car enabled him to finish fifth after starting 12th. Russell, who had been running on the hard tyres for much of the opening stint, made his way through the field when rivals ahead pitted, eventually taking fifth place, the highest placed driver so far. Russell was on his way to the pit line when Perrier Gasly and Lando Norris collided, bringing out the virtual safety car, allowing him to immediately pit for fresh medium tyres and rejoin in seventh behind teammate Lewis Hamilton. Russell passed Hamilton and Bottas to finish fifth after the safety car was deployed and the race was restarted. As a result, Russell says he and Mercedes decided to extend his first in as long as possible in a hope that a safety car intervention would allow them to pit and gain track position. We got very lucky, said Russell. When things like that happen, you sound like a bit of a genius. That's what happens when you're on offset strategy. P7 was covered. There was no point to pit. We may as well have stayed out there and hoped that something like that would happen. And we got a bit lucky today. On lap one, Russell lost three places to those around him on medium tyres after starting on hard tyres. Those opening laps were tough, he said. I got swallowed up completely and I just had to stay out of trouble. Five places ahead of Hamilton, he took the chequered flag in fifth place. Russell finished each of the six races of the 2022 season inside the top five position thanks to this result. In response to the question whether fifth and sixth are the highest places Mercedes can aim for at this point, Russell replied yes and no. Where we deserve to be is in fifth and sixth, he said. Unfortunately, we've probably underperformed at some circuits, especially on Saturdays, which makes things harder for us. 
But I think we have shown the most promise this weekend. We are still a long way from being ready. Russell has not only finished in the top five in every race so far this season, but also has managed to stand on the podium twice. He managed to get third in Australia, edging out his teammate by a few seconds. He also finished in third place at the Spanish Grand Prix and another fifth at Monaco. He is the only driver to score points in every single race this year. He's getting along nicely in that Mercedes. Lewis struggles this year. The seven times Formula One champion said it was hard to stay positive some days in a social media post on Thursday after discussing his mental and emotional struggles. It's been a tough year already with everything that's happening around us, Hamilton said on Instagram, as he assured fans that they weren't alone. The struggle has been long and hard for me mentally and emotionally, but we have to keep fighting because we have so much to do and accomplish. It's okay to feel the way you do. Just know you're not alone and we're going to get through this together. As a result of a controversial final race in Abu Dhabi where he led up until the last lap, Hamilton missed out on a record eighth championship last year. From the day of that December race until February, the most successful driver of all time shunned social media. Mercedes team boss Toto Wolff described Hamilton as disillusioned because of his silence, fueling speculation surrounding his future. He has faced racism and online abuse as a black driver in the sport and has been an outspoken advocate for equality and diversity. After failing to make it through the first phase of a qualifying in a car that had been off the pace, the Briton finished only 10th in Saudi Arabia. The result in Australia was much better, finishing behind his teammate in fourth place. But the next weekend in Italy for the Emilio Romagno Grand Prix, the problems continued. After a lousy start, Lewis only managed to make 13th position by the end of the race. By Miami, Mercedes was starting to bring upgrades to the cars. Both drivers now have managed to finish in the top seven in the last two races, the Miami Grand Prix and the Spanish Grand Prix. Let's see if they continue to get better and make it back to challenge Red Bull and Ferrari at the front of the grid. The end of this season sure looks like it's going to be interesting. Thanks for tuning in, Formula One fans. We'll come back with another stunning video. Till now, don't forget to explore our other videos and subscribe to our channel for more videos.